So we are now going to set up a mono repo, and the reason we are doing this is so it's easy to share the code between the React and the React Native project that we set up already. Now I just did a step before I started this video. I created a folder which I just called my mono repo, and then I took the two folders or projects that we worked on in the last two videos and put them in here. So I copied the my awesome project into this folder, and I also copied the React Native web series. And this React Native web series is just what I called uh, the project that we created with Create React App. So I'm going to be starting from here. And the first thing that we're going to do is set up Yarn workspaces. So in my mono repo, once you have these copied over, we're going to create a folder called Packages. And then I'm going to rename my awesome project to App. And that's where the uh, React Native code is going to go. And then I'm going to rename this to Web. And I'm going to put that in packages. So here's what our file structure looks like right now. Uh, and then next, I'm going to say npm i dash y or init slash y to initialize a repo here or a package.json, I mean. Uh, and then to actually make it into a yarn workspace, we need to say at the top here private is equal to true. And we're going to say, I'll just add this at the bottom workspaces and then here's where we specify what our workspaces are we're going to say packages slash star so what that means is any uh, thing that we add in the packages folder is going to be considered a package that yarn workspaces are going to see and be able to do stuff with so now if I were to run yarn right now um, it should install all the dev dependencies for everything um, and I'm just going to real quickly just remove Oh, perfect. I already have this up. Uh, all the node modules and all these packages. So remove it in app and remove it in web. Uh, and I can do it with this command. So I'm saying remove RF packages. And then I'm saying doesn't matter what package. You can do that with the star command and then remove node modules. You could also just go into each package and remove it. There's only two right now. But that's a little shortcut for you. Um, all right. So I deleted that. I'm just going to go ahead and run yarn and I'll let this run in the background because uh, it's going to probably take a few minutes to like install that stuff. So next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder, which we're going to call common. So common is basically where we're going to start. We're going to be developing stuff most of the time. So this is where the one code base is going to live. And then both the app and the web are going to use this one code base. So I'm going to go inside of packages common, and we're going to just initialize this with a package.json as well. Now I'm gonna give this a, let's refresh, there we go. I'm gonna give this a name. I'm just going to call mine wow. So whenever you deal with Yarn workspaces or mono repos in general, usually you'll have the name of your mono repo and you'll say at the name of your mono repo slash the name of the individual package. In this case, I'm just naming my mono repo wow. Um, and that's what I'm gonna put here. Uh, next up, we're going to create a source folder, and inside of there, I'm going to say index.tsx. Um, and here, I'm just going to paste uh, just a demo app, the one that we created. So if I go to app, app.tsx, I'm just going to copy the app that we created. So copy this, paste it in, and uh, of course, we need to install it. Uh, React and React Native and stuff in here. So let me just make sure this is finished running. It is. Um, cool. So in here, I'm going to say yarn add. We're going to add React Native and React. And we're going to add React at 16.8.2. All right. So when that is done, we're then going to install the dev dependencies for React Native. And then we're also going to install the uh, TypeScript. And then we're going to have to add a TS config to this. So let's do that. And I am installing this as TypeScript 3.3.3. And then this is just the latest types for React Native. Even though we are using a later version of React Native itself, this is kind of the latest types. All right, so uh, now we can say here, I can just in, uh, import this all from React Native or whatnot. Uh, it's taking a second to load. Instead of me manually importing this, I'm gonna just give it a second and we're gonna create a TS config. All right, so in our TS config, I'm just gonna copy what we have in the web. And then we're gonna make a few changes. So for this, 
Uh, we're going to say allow JS. We're going to remove that. We don't want to allow JS. And instead of isolated modules, we're going to say declaration is true. And when we set declaration is to true, we build the module. What's going to happen is it's going to have TypeScript declaration files in it, which is what we want. And here we're going to say JSX is going to be React. Um, and then no omit. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, and then module, I believe we need to change this to common JS. Um, and then I'm going to say an out directory, I'm going to say is dist. And I believe that's all the changes that we need to make to this file. But uh, when we build a project and then try to use it, we'll see if we have any problems. All right, so this should be good loading. It is, so I'm just going to say uh, command period and import everything in. Um, and it looks like text didn't get imported for some reason. So control space and we'll import that. And did style sheet get added? Nope, uh, there we go. Uh, instead of export default, I'm just going to export it like that. And that looks pretty good. In the package.json, we are going to say TS TSC. And I'm going to rename this to build. And what this does is this runs the TypeScript compiler and it's going to compile our code. So if I come here, say yarn build, and it's going to look in the source folder and build it, and we can see the dist. So a couple things, if you know this work correctly, is in your dist folder, you should see an index.d.ts. should just look like this, I guess. And then in your index.js, it should look like this. Um, and you'll notice that there's not JSX in here, right? So it does not look like this where there's brackets and stuff. That's JSX. Um, it looks like this, and we're saying create element in here. So that's important. Um, yep, so that is pretty much all we need to do in common, I believe. So next, we want to basically use this code base and both of these projects. So today, we're going to start by adding it to the web. So to do that, we're going to head over to the web's package.json, and we need to first add the common package as a dependency. So I usually just come in here and I say wow slash common, and then we're going to set the version of it. And if we come to common package.json, it'll tell us the version is just 1.0. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. So we're going to put that there. Um, and then after we add that, we just need to say yarn. So we're going to cd over to the web. And that's just going to add uh, this common package in here. Uh, and now if I go to my app.tsx, instead of just saying hello from React Native Web, what I'm going to do is delete this app. And I'm just going to export the app, which we get from that package, which we said is wow slash common. All right, um, and let's see if uh, currently cannot find it. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I just hit command and then P, or if you do command capital P, it'll open this little window. I'm going to restart the TypeScript server to see if it actually can find the module. The other thing you can do to double check is if I do an ls node modules, I'm able to see uh, whether or not it was added, and we can see at wow is not there. So that means it didn't get added for some reason. So I either messed something up uh, or it didn't get added for whatever reason. So I'm just going to say yarn again, or you know what? I'm just going to remove the node modules altogether and just have yarn run again and see if it gets added this time. Oh, you know what? We forgot one important step. That's why it's not working. So if we go back to our common package.json, if we look at this main, uh, we need to specify where the main file is. So for us, uh, it's going to be inside of dist and then index.js. So let's add that real quick. All right, so uh, now we're going to just, I don't know if we need to re-yarn. If I go back to the app, oh, cool. So you notice how it just went from red to orange. I don't know if you're watching right there. Uh, it also is no longer an error here, so it was able to find this file now. So we're going to say yarn start, um, and we're going to get this error about skip prefight check, um, or we did some things wrong, and it's going to tell us some things are wrong. Basically, we're trying to access a module outside, and maybe we're doing some other stuff wrong. But we can just add this skip preflight check to the beginning, and uh, everything will work. So let's go ahead and do that. So skip preflight check is true. Now for those of you guys that are on Windows, to get this to work, we can add cross env in front of this. So 
I'm now going to add cross env as well. And it doesn't matter what uh, version of cross env you get, it should probably work. Uh, and that just makes this work on Windows. All right, so let's do yarn start again. Um, and if this works correctly, what happens when this starts up is we should see um, this little app counter that we have where we can click on it and it's going to increment the count um, using hooks in our website. So it looks like no crashes. Come over here, we see our little welcome to React Native. We can increment and that's our hooks working. So awesome. So what we just set up is a common package which we are now using in the website. So getting this to work with React Native is also a little tricky. So that's what we're gonna save to the next video. And so we're gonna import basically this common package or get the common package working with the app as well. And so what's gonna happen is in the future, we're just gonna be coding in this common folder and then both the web and the app is gonna get this code and uh, should basically be building the app and the website in parallel. Now, I just wanna go over real quick uh, a few things that is important about what we set up because this can be kind of tricky to get working. So if it is not working for you, these are the few things that you wanna check. So you notice I was coming over here and I was saying ls no modules and couldn't find it. I think what I was doing wrong about that is one, it should be uh, in the root folder and there it is. So if I do ls dot 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 uh, in the root directory uh, or the root monorepo, mono we can see the wow a folder and we can see common. So that is important to be able to see. Uh, so the thing is, again, this was important. We we missed this at first. You wanna make sure that you have index or this dist, this main is pointing at an actual file that exists and that's pointing at dist slash index.js. Uh, one other thing I wanna add real quick is I'm gonna add this thing called rimraf. So this is gonna delete the build folder or this dist folder every time we build. That way we don't have stale data in there. So I'm gonna say rimraf dist and we're gonna build. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna cd back over to common and uh, yarn add as a dev dependency rimraf. And this doesn't really matter what version either. Uh, and so what that's gonna do is it's just gonna delete the folder and then it's gonna build it each time. And if we do yarn build, nothing will really change, but that just helps get consistent builds. Sometimes I get funky stuff when I don't do that. Um, uh, the other thing is with the TS config is there's a couple important things. Uh, make sure the JSX is set to React. Make sure that the module is common JS. Uh, and the last one is declaration is set to true. Um, and so when you build stuff, you get a nice disk that has the right output that we want. And notice we're saying include source here. That's how we know it knows to build uh, the source folder right there as well. Uh, and that's pretty much the key uh, parts of getting this to work, I think. Um, and then after that, we just add, of course, uh, this to our uh, package.json, the wow package or the common wow package. Uh, but that, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. In the next video, again, we're going to be trying out to get this to work with the React Native uh, part of this.